What's up, Joshua Casper here with a random tutorial about how to embed images into your audio files. Apparently people have been doing this for a long time. I didn't know about it until this really long goose chase that started on an episode of the animated show Archer, which is one of my favorite shows. And it just uh, was a mind-boggling goose chase through the internet and one of the steps had a strange audio file and it turned out it had a spectrograph hidden inside which would lead you to the next step of the goose chase. Everything that I talk about in this video, there's more information and links on my website. Just go there to that main post to get everything you need. So the first thing I'm going to do is just show you what's going on and I'm going to do that by using a, an old pendulum track called Axle Grinder and at the end of the track there's this kind of just like an impact sound and it turns out that sound has a spectrograph in it so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up so I have axle grinder open now inside of isotopes RX this is a fairly expensive program if you don't have this don't worry links on the blog to download a free program that does the same thing but right here is the waveform and if I zoom in here and come down to the end to this right here if we take a listen here that it's just kind of a regular typical kind of impact at, to end a song but if we go over to the spectrograph inside of here look at that Porky Pig giving us the middle finger is hidden inside of there. Pretty cool, right? So what we're going to do is learn how to do this. Um, and it's, uh, you can do this with a free program. Again, links on the blog. And uh, that's the next step of this tutorial is we're going to go ahead and make a spectrograph hidden inside of an audio layer and then get into Ableton and kind of make it sound a little bit better than just the noise that uh, generating noise or generating sound from an image creates. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and download this called Coagula, Coagula Lights free program and uh, follow the instructions to install and then open it up. Once you open it up, you're going to want to import an image and it's going to be a bitmap image. That's the image that it's going to use to generate the file. So uh, you can either do, use Photoshop or download one off the web or maybe I'll throw up mine just if you want to follow along. But I'm going to open up an image onto my desktop. And it just says joshuacasper.com. Now, there are a lot of different things you can do with this program. I'm just going to stick with this now to stick with uh, simplicity's sake. But I'm also going to come into render options and I'm just going to show you the pitch range. You generally want to use a pitch range that you can cut out of all the other sounds when you're going to be putting it into, uh, surrounding it with some other sounds inside of Ableton. You want to use kind of a, a frequency range that the other sounds can do without. Uh, you might want to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, for this tutorial, I'll make it 600 to 11,000. Uh, and then I'm just going to hit render and it's just going to make the sound real fast. Sweet. And now that that's rendered, I'm going to come to sound render without blue. And that's the sound that's going to have the image. And then I'm going to come over and I'm going to save sound as. I'm going to put it on the desktop and I'm just going to call it uh, test so we can check it out. Okay. I I am back inside of Rx. I'm going to open the test file that we just created to see what it looks like. And boom, as you can see, it's pretty big, it's pretty clear. But the thing is, is that sound just is kind of annoying. If you just send that to an email, uh, someone might catch on that there's something a little fishy going on. So the best thing to do is kind of hide that inside of a project file. So what I'm going to do is click out of here again. I'm going to come into Ableton where I have a set already set up just to save time. And here is the original audio file. And you can see that I've turned it way down um, because it doesn't need to be loud. It just needs those frequencies to be um, 
by just it. You don't want to put other frequencies in that range because then it's going to cloud the picture in the spectrograph. So you can see down here in the spectro analyzer the frequency range that we want to steer clear of. And what I've done is I just put like a, a, some white noise. And as you can see, I've rolled it off here and then um, I put a duplicate on it and I rolled it off down here, just leaving that frequency range of the hidden message audio and left that open. And then on everything else, I just rolled it off the top and if you play everything together, this is what it sounds like. So, uh, that obviously sounds just like a regular hit. Um, people won't notice that it sounds strange unless they're looking for it. I mean, this is kind of a weird sound. It doesn't really fit musically. But um, if it's just kind of an ambient impact sound, people won't really notice if they're not looking for it. So I think that's pretty cool. So what we do is then render this out of Ableton and come back into RX. And the spectrum, uh, spectrograph of that, all of those things together looks like this. And as you can see, the joshuacasper.com is still legible, even though all that other audio going on which I think is just really cool and you can obviously tweak that you can tweak uh, the frequency range that that's displayed at how tall it is uh, how short it is you can display how much time it takes to display the whole message obviously there's a lot of different things you can play around with but this was just kind of an introduction to how to get it done and kind of how to <laughs> start doing cool things like this because I know FX twin did it um, a bunch of times with some really intricate pictures. Uh, Nine Inch Nails did it, uh, and a few other bands have done it over the past, and now Archer obviously is doing it too. So I just think it's really cool to, to do stuff like this. But anyway, I hope you learned something. I hope you have fun doing it, and if you get any uh, cool messages and stuff like that, obviously hit me up, and I want to check them out. But anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.